welcome to this episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today is going to be a fun day, so stand by for that. But remember, youtube.com, black slash user, black slash 10 raw bro, and rumble.com, remember, black slash user, black slash Utah Crossbow Hunter. And don't forget to hit the subscribe buttons, because remember, the announcement at the end of this video. Uh, you want to stand by for that. And also on the World Wide Web at UtahCrossbowHunter.com where you find all of my stuff that I use and all my videos on there. And don't forget, you can email me at UtahCrossbowHunter at iCloud.com. So without any further ado, let's get into today's show. Okay, so you're probably wondering what the fun day is. Well, let me take a drink here. We are going to shoot this Cobra crossbow, pistol crossbow. Yeah, ain't this thing sweet? It's an 80 pound, well it says 80 pound draw weight, but I seriously doubt that it is an 80 pound. It's this little over seven inch, uh, pull on here so um, and I got my little red dot on here so let's uh, have some fun let's send some arrows I should say bolts these are 6.3 inch bolts they come anywhere between um, 140 and 147 grains I I just played a few of them so there's nothing spectacular about these so I guess I haven't shot this in probably probably a year so and I did make a couple adjustments on it uh, there was a screw that was sitting up here I took that screw off and moved my uh, sight forward just a little bit more so let's send the first one down and we'll see how my bag cam my uh, Canon uh, bag cam there can see these darts or these uh, bolts Not bad. You just need to bring it up a little bit. I'm shooting for that red um, center of that target. It is, it's a homemade target. It has um, a lot of uh, Walmart shopping bags stuffed in there. It does have an anti-dry fire. Yeah, it looks like that one was a little bit lower. But like I said, these, these arrows are, these bolts are, um, probably aren't going to be all that consistent. But if I can get a tight group, I'll be good with that. Like I said, this is just a, a fun day getting out with the crossbow. That one's a lot better. It came up a little bit, so it'll come up a little bit more. But uh, these things only cost about 60, 70 bucks. Um, they're not that expensive. They're good for, they say small game. I'm just shooting here at uh, 10 yards. Oh, that one flew a little high. I'm not going to adjust. But they're, they're kind of, they're not that durable. Um, considering the flangings on these are plastic into aluminum uh, shaft. Uh, the tips are pretty sharp on these. And I couldn't tell where that one went, but I think I was shooting off to the right a little bit. So let's come to the 
left. A couple of clicks here. And see how we do. But this is a, like I said, it's a fun one. You can shoot this one indoors if you got the room. Oh my goodness. That was pretty doggone good there. Right in the top of the red X. But like I said, it's, you shoot this indoors, of course with caution. Um, and if you want to teach your kids how to shoot a pistol, this would be a good way to start. Teach them how to shoot a pistol. So, like I said, it's a, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I got like 70 of these uh, um, bolts here. So I can shit, pretty much shoot all day with them. They do have uh, fishing uh, ones for these. The safety is ambidextrous. So, actually, I'm not doing pretty good. Not doing bad at all. Get some, which for the most part, you know, not not a bad spread. Pretty good uh, setting in there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run down real quick and grab those ones, and I'll be right back. Don't All right. So, let's do this again. Have some more fun here. <laughs> yeah, the kids got to fight and argue about stuff. Nah, that one flew a little high, but not. If you're looking for a kill range, yeah, probably. Yep. You have to wax and lube these ones too. And that one's a little high, so let's bring it down a tad. And bring it to the left a little bit but I, I suppose if I set and weighed these and, and, and put them in a category it probably would be a lot easier which I'll probably do later on oh that was a little too far to the right Yeah, to the left, so we're going to write this a little, a little bit here. There we go. So that'll only take a few minutes to sit there and weigh those. Got the safety. Oh, bullseye. Let me and get some my lubricant here. It's the same lubricant and wax that you'd use on a uh, regular crossbow. My string is starting to, to fray a little bit. I gotta take care of that, but no biggie. But like I said, it's a it's a fun a fun crossbow to use. It's getting you know it's it's got a uh, another accessory you can get for your arm to put your your bolts in. And you can you buy an extra shoulder stock if you want and stuff.
hoping my camera behind me um, you guys can see how kind of I guess you could say a tight grouping there I'd say from here looking at it maybe two two and a half inches maybe three It's uh, I want to get the broadheads for these. See how they do. I think that might be might be fun too. Okay, so let me go grab those. I'll be right back. So we're looking, we're not doing bad. I mean, they're for, for what we got going here. We got quite a few in the X. Let's do another round here. Another one in the X. You can tell it's a lot quicker to do this one than it does the crossbow. Oh, that one a little high. So probably what I'm going to do next is I'm probably going to weigh these and put them in a category. And uh, reshoot it again later. But uh, for right now, like I said, you can sit and shoot this all day long. And have fun. If you want to go try maybe a small game like squirrels or rabbits or something, as long as the rabbit sets still, the squirrel sets still, you might be able to get one or two. But I'm thinking with a weight difference in some of these, it might be why we're off just a little bit. But like with anything, weight's going to make a, a big, a big difference here. But you guys, you can get, you know, like 60 of these uh, bolts for like, I think it's 28 bucks. I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't, I have the plastic ones, but I wouldn't recommend the plastic ones. Um, because they are way, 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 way lighter. Like about 100 grains lighter. So. But one thing I will do with this later on, I will be, you know, I'll do a speed test after I categorize them and, and stuff. Okay. Alrighty, so, yeah, this is a fun, a fun thing to shoot. So, um, We'll come back with some final thoughts. Okay, so we're back with some final thoughts. 
this little crossbow, like I said, it's a fun thing to shoot. Uh, especially in the off seasons, if you uh, are a pistol shooter, this would be great. You know, just sit in your house, garage, or whatever, and uh, practice with. Um, if you would like, uh, maybe try small game. This would be perfect. Um, work on your sneaking up skills, I guess you could say. Uh, but one thing I did do, these little rubber um, mounts here, they are, they are pretty loose. So I took some super glue and uh, glued those down just to, um, so they don't come off. You, you can use the little, the, the, the up strap, the, um, the aluminum rail or whatever they call this here. Um, you, you can use that too, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, but I, I prefer the plastic rubber thing over the top. That's just my preference. Uh, like I said, it's easy to cock. Um, and I guess you could say, you know, it's easy to, you know, the sight in with your sights. It does come with iron sights. I, I just opt to put on this red dot on here. Um, just because that's my preference. But it does come with iron sights. Um, some do come with the red dot. They're going to be a little more expensive, but if you got like a cheap red dot laying around like I did, um, that works fine. Um, for it. The only thing I had to do was I had to get this uh, adapter on here. Let me show you here. It's a, uh, let me turn it upside down. Uh, this is a little adapter, right? Because this one here the, 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 uh, is too wide. So I got this adapter on here. I don't remember the, the measurements on it, but um, but this sit on here just perfect. And then I put on the scope on top of that. So uh, that worked out just great. So and they're pretty light. They're really light. They're like about a couple of pounds, I think. Um, but again, they're not that that heavy. I am going to um, category my arrows, my or my bolts. Um, uh, in weight, see what it makes that, that might make some difference in my shooting. Uh, but uh, but these here, these little tips, they come right off. So if you pull pull them out, they just go right back in. Um, but every once in a while, they they will break off. These are just plastic. Um, so if you break one off, no big deal. Um, but the tips on these, whew, they're pretty doggone sharp. Um, so I guess I think I'm gonna get some broadheads and give those a try. These are um, flat, flathead knock type on here uh, for the crossbow. I don't think they have um, half moon knocks for these. I don't, I don't think. I haven't seen any. Um, but. Uh, But again, you know, it's something, uh, I don't call it, you know, I, I say it's my play toy. It's not a toy, it's a weapon. And it can do some damage uh, if you hit somebody with it. Uh, just, like, just like a crossbow, you gotta use caution. And they don't have a guard to go above here. So you gotta be really careful. You can grip it right like this, but I prefer to grip it like a pistol. Um, I'm thinking maybe eventually I might get a, uh, get a piece of wood and make a grip uh, eventually, uh, but I don't know. Uh, I haven't decided on that because it's, it's, if you're doing it like this, you know, you need to have more study, you know, or like this. I mean, it doesn't make any difference um, if whatever your preference of shooting is, um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot, there's different makers of these. Uh, they come in, I think, 50 and 80 pound. I know 80 pounds and 50. Um, I really didn't like, you know, I was looking at them and getting doing reviews and stuff. I didn't like the 50. Uh, I wanted the 80. Um, but like I said, my servings are starting to come loose here a little bit. Uh, I, there's been a lot of, a lot of uh, rounds, you know, I was shooting it before. I put a lot of rounds. 
uh, through this. So the, it, the, the, the serving and stuff will last a long time, but um, they're starting to come loose a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm probably going to you know, eventually figure out. I, the, what, the thing with this here, when if you're going to redo the servings, that's going to be a question on how to do it. Um, but you know, maybe I can get it out here a little bit or do something, redo the servings. But you still have to use uh, rail lube and wax, you know, just like your, your regular crossbow. So, with that said, remember I'm win men and women in blue, they're out there doing a fantastic job for us out there. Uh, I know they're under attack all the time, and so um, just remember that they're greatly appreciated out there. And don't forget our service men and women out there um, uh, they do a fantastic job uh, also uh, protecting our country and giving us our freedoms that we enjoy today and with that said remember family first take care of your family in all means get out there and hunt and see you on the next episode of utah crossbow hunter